Hey, Calvin Felker here, Ski Doo Freeride Ambassador, hanging out at the Aero Charger facility. Um, I got the 2013 Ski Doo Summit XM sitting here. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it and its new features. They changed the sled quite a bit this year, and all the changes were to help us as mountain riders. This is the, I'm gonna start at the back of the machine. Cool feature, lightweight mud flap, real flexible, doesn't get in your way when you're stuck. Cool tail light, they went to an LED tail light, which is a lot easier to see. It's a little lighter, it's a lot easier to see though, it's the main thing in a flat light, snow dust. This was this is a huge advancement for us mountain riders. They actually took the fiberglass rods that are in the track. In typical old snowmobile track, everyone I've ever known, the fiberglass rods go out to the edge of the track. On this track, fiberglass rods only are 12 inches wide. It's a 16 inch wide track. So as you can see, the outside of the track actually flexes, which is kind of crazy. Um, never seen anything like that. It makes a big difference. It seems to find traction. What also helps with maneuvering the track is the two inside wheels. Being on the inside, I know a lot of mountain guys have been doing that for years. So as, as you already know, if you've done that, is it, it makes it easier to tip. The suspension you see here is what they call the T-Motion. It has a little hinge here that moves back and forth a few degrees. Doesn't sound like much, but it makes a huge difference. They flatten out this rail and split it in the middle to allow it to flex to help with the rear. So this sled, when you lean, the whole body actually moves on the suspension. The suspension and the track stay planted and find traction. What makes the sled feel in my opinion, it feels 100 pounds lighter. It feels like the lightest sled I've ever ridden. The seat, they chopped it down, so we're stepping over the back constantly all day in the trees. This makes it way easier and a lot less fatiguing on your legs and hips to get it back and forth. And when they did that, they had to um, strengthen it up, so they, they made a lot stiffer, taller bar here, and they also laid a reinforcement on the inside. They also gave it another eight inches of foot room, which makes the sled Easier to maneuver just because you can get where you want to get on the sled. You don't always use it, but for side hilling in different different areas, I didn't know if I'd use a lot after I rode the sled. It was a big difference. Let me to get a little bit farther forward in those those areas where you need to. They've improved the controls on the XM quite a bit this year. The grips are tackier. They took the rib off of it so it doesn't grab your cuff when you're maneuvering side to side. They went to more of a semi-rigid mountain bar. They, they slim down the, the buttons a little bit. Now you've only got your reverse and your high-low beam up here, and your, your hand warmers and thumb warmers are down here. They flatten out the gauge, so it's easier to read when standing up, and give you over a gallon of heated storage up top. A new dual intake, it looks the same on the other side. It's really high, the airbox worked really great for me all winter. The paneling, as you can see, it's a lot rounder and smoother. And the way they made it, it's almost like the whole of a jet ski or something. The way it goes through snow is it's just unbelievable. You need to get out and try it. The Pilot DS ski has one of, been one of my favorite skis the last couple of years. And they've improved it this year and made it a deeper keel and flat in the rear. They changed the spindle a little bit. They, they moved the ski bolt farther forward, which makes it steer easier and actually doesn't give you as much feedback through the bars when going through choppy or aggressive terrain. Super light, good flex, and um, awesome in the powder. Best carving ski there's ever been that I've tried. What really makes this sled my favorite, that little bad boy right there. For mountain riders, we're at altitude, and you just can't ever have enough power on a stock, naturally aspirated machine. Turbos love load, they love the deep snow, they love to be on the hill. For Aero Charger to get this out so quick was unbelievable. ski -Doo came to them and worked with them to develop this kit and to release it as soon as they did. This kit is available right now. You can order this if you've ordered your XM, you live at high altitude and you, you like to play hard, I suggest ordering your Aero Charger today. All right, that's it. You see my 2013 Aero Charge Summit. Check me out on Facebook and come watch us run live at the World Championship Hill Climbs in Jackson Hole in March.